In this video, I'll be looking at ways to capture an image that's of a homework done on paper. Probably the way that many students are doing it, and I know in one class are doing it, is to just use the camera. Take a picture and submit the picture. The complication with this particular approach is the size of the image that's generated. That image that I just captured is 3.1 megabytes. That's going to be a very large image size to upload and uh, send in, especially if you're on a limited bandwidth at home and you have multiple images to send. Another option, and this is free, is Google's Photo Scan. This is Google Photo Scan. Uh, opens up looking like this when you first open Google Photo Scan. Search for it in the Google Play Store. I'll try to get some links in down below. To use it, you get your homework centered up. Take, press the button. It takes an initial picture. Now you just move your phone over each of these white circles, and it then assembles a image can be seen here. This is the scanned image of the homework. Now if I take a look at the size of that scanned image of the homework, I'll see that it's only 1.5 megabytes. It's half the size. It's still a large file, but it is half the size of the original file. Bear in mind that the college email system has something like a 2 megabyte limit, so you could only send one of these images. But there's one more thing one can do with this. And you get a very nice, clean image from the scan. Uh, but there's more that can be done here. Google has another program. Google makes PhotoScan. Google makes Snapseed in the top right. Snapseed, in Snapseed, I can open a file. Snapseed is Google's free photo editor. What I've done is I've gone into the settings and into the image sizing. And I've set my image to an 800 pixel image export size. So that's a little subtle. In the top right corner, the little three dot menu leads to settings. And I've tapped on image size and I've set it all the way down to 800. The smallest possible image size for export. Then I've already opened the image as you saw there. Or I could open another one from the top left corner. I'm simply going to go to straight to export. I don't need to do anything else. And I'm going to go to the second item here below save. The third item on that menu. Export. Create a copy of your photo. Sizing and format. Set. Now let me go see that one that I just saved. Navigate my way around to it. This is actually the one just exported by it. You'll notice it's 112K. It's less than a tenth of the size of the original photo scan. But how does it look? It looks good. Yes, there's some blurriness. You can see that. Uh, there's a small amount of blurriness. But overall, the homework is quite legible and quite readable, even though it is now down to 112K. At this size, it'll easily upload and attach to different documents. So that's some options for scanning photos in the Android world and for getting some control over the size of the file. Again, my original photograph back here was a 3.1 megabyte file. My photo scan was half that at 1.5 megabytes. And my Snapseed export 112 small, fast, easy to send, easy to communicate to others. So with that, uh, let me know if you do have uh, questions, but those are some ways to get pictures scanned and sent to an instructor for a class where you have to scan something you've done on paper uh, for whatever reason.